We have new video tonight of the moment someone tried to steal from the digital cur currency machine using a saw. Action News Network reporter Chloe Curtis is live at Ray's Liquor where it happened. Chloe, what is the owner doing about this? The owner tells me security cameras here caught them in the act and that they reported that break in to Chico police. Uh, he have like an electric saw or something and he drill like two points and it seems he's very expert about it because he knows where to drill. Take a look. Just before 7 a.m., a person in a mask and gloves carries in what appears to be a saw. As soon as they make it in, they dash straight for the Bitcoin machine. Take the chain and the lock. And also he had like a bar and he like uh, bend the, the door and open it. And like he run inside the store and it seems he knows where's the Bitcoin machine because he went directly to it. Ray's Liquor tells me it took just a minute and 38 seconds for the person to break through these doors and saw the machine before leaving. Sweat says the machine is being repaired and that it actually gets a lot of use. Part of the reason it's emptied so often. Other Chico businesses also targeted this week, including Wine Cellar and High Five Tobacco this morning. You can see a man carrying what appears to be pliers and attempting to get in before driving off. And at High Five, a man in dark clothing tried to get in, only prying off the locks before leaving around 6.40 a.m. You can see the other marks where they were grinding it. Also right here, you can see where they cut the other lock. And so let me pull this down. This is another part where we have a padlock and they cut it. The businesses don't know if the incidents are related, but say it's a situation they don't want to experience again. Ray's Liquor says it's the first time their business has been broken into since opening in 2015. Chico always is a nice place and like when you see like stuff like that happens you get sad about the city, you know, because we, we are we live here. Not only we have a business here. I reached out to Chico police to see if these instances are connected and I'm still waiting to hear back. Live in Chico, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now coverage you can count on. So interesting, Chloe, just to hear that in his voice, just that disappointment because everybody wants to feel safe in their community. Thank you. And the owner, who you just heard from, from High Five Tobacco, says the locks on his business are being replaced and he's looking into more security cameras, all of which likely he'll pay for out of pocket.